Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, it's still the lockout. Lockout's still going on. So this video shot January 14th, 2022, and the owners and players actually got together yesterday, but uh, didn't get anything accomplished. Surprise, surprise. Got to split up $11 million there. So hopefully they'll get that worked out. We won't miss any games this season. But in the meantime, wanted to give you a review of the uh, new Nike. This is uh, Braves home World Series champion uh, jersey. So a um, couple different things here. One, Nike took over uh, production of Major League Baseball jerseys in 2020. Uh, that contract runs 2020 through 2029. Uh, one of the interesting things is the appearance of the Nike check on all of uh, the jerseys, which I really thought would bother me at first. You know, Majestic used to just have it on uh, the side sleeve and so you know logo moved from the side sleeve to uh, prominent on the front of every single major league team's jersey um, I guess I've grown accustomed to it I mean I guess 10 years from now we'll have sponsor you know things all over and it'll look like soccer jerseys but anyhow I uh, wanted to say if you haven't bought a jersey in a while like in the, the jersey you own is like one of those heavy polyester jerseys and like it's got the, 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 you know, like the front logos on there and it's like thick and embroidered on there and non-flexible and when you can't really move on it because it's just one thing across your chest. Like go out and, and pick yourself up a new jersey. One of the things, even with the Majestic Cool Base, I mean, this new material is like super light. So if you're there roasting in the sun on a summer day, there's no reason to, to be having a heavy jersey on. And so these new ones are, are super nice, super light. Um, what else do we want to say about them? One is that uh, kudos to Nike again, like they didn't ruin New Jersey's. The, the City Connects are, have been fun. Uh, I don't like seeing Boston play in yellow jerseys, but um, they're that, like I do like the Boston Marathon and see the tie in with that. So uh, they, they've been fun, and, and all the other teams are like, oh, we don't want to do that. Now they're like, hey, can, can we get on the list to do that? So uh, as far as I understand, over a three year period, every single Major League Baseball team uh, will have new City Connect jerseys. Uh, also wanna say this is a replica. So usually you can pick up a replica between 100 bucks, uh, 125, 130, 134. Uh, right now on the MLB website, this particular jersey is down to $66. Um, which is the lowest I've ever seen um, a jersey on there that wasn't like, oh, it's a women's small that we just wanted to clear out. So 66 bucks, you may want to pick up one. Uh, the other thing about the, the replicas versus uh, the authentic jerseys, like I would never buy an authentic jersey because they're 300 bucks. Uh, and you, the, the, the length of them is different. So they're for players to tuck into their pants so they don't come out. And so uh, I don't know why as a fan you'd want to wear one of those. The only, the only thing I could see, and this is uh, with specific jerseys, uh, is that with the authentic, you get the side patch. And so if you're a Padres fan and you like the Friar logo on the side, like you have to get the authentic to get that, or you gotta buy the patch off eBay and, and get it on there. Uh, the Braves, like alternate, uh, Sunday cream jerseys have a cool double tomahawk logo uh, again only available if you upgrade to that uh, next level kind of authentic versus the uh, the replica so anyhow uh, this jersey uh, got for under a hundred bucks with some different discount codes and all that stuff but it is at sixty six dollars now uh, a couple different things with it and particularly because it's the world championship edition uh, patch uh, this logo right here it doesn't match any of the other World Series logos, so it's disappointing. I'm gonna throw a graphic up on the, the, the screen here. You'll see the, the, the main you know patch logo, and then underneath it, uh, there's a picture of uh, the side, you know, like the this logo, and then the side, the World Series logo was awesome, right? Huge ball, got the World Series, it's got the, the globe within the ball, really cool logo design. They didn't wear the patches in the World Series at all on the sleeves. Um, they did have a World Series patch that was just a generic uh, commissioner's trophy on the side. And then the World Series championship logo has the, the commissioner's uh, trophy and it says 2021 actually on there. So, uh, you know, we're in the midst of a, you know, shortage supply with the pandemic and, and all that stuff. And so it's difficult to get any jerseys right now. But anyhow, uh, so here's that graphic. Let me know what you think. 
So anyhow, that's that to me that's frustrating just because the World Series logo is so good. It's so good and they're they're not using it. So anyhow, uh, problem number two with it is the coloring on it. And so we'll see if we get close. Yeah, that's a good one. You can see how the Braves are red with the nice dark navy. This is not a dark navy. It's a different shade of blue, which it, if, you know, whatever team won, if they were gonna wear that same navy blue in the logo on their thing, then fine. But like, it, it makes it look terrible. Like the way the light reflects off of it, it's a different, you have two different shades of navy and two different shades of red on your jersey like how come you couldn't match it with this red and this navy so that's that's one of the problems there with the coloring the other problem is like a close-up of that patch like there it seems to be it, it's almost like it would they screen printed on the patch at different points and then there's embroidery on the patch like it's this weird i don't know if it was going for a three-dimensional look or what but it just it turned out awful and then on top of that, notice the quality of the stitching around the outskirts of the patch. So on the inside of the patch, it's all done. You, know, you can tell it's machine done and nice or whatever, and it's actually stitched on there. On, on the outside of it, like it looks like something I would have done in sixth grade in a home ec class, right? Like, oh, you're forced to sew something. Like, okay, I'll sew a patch on a jersey. Like the, the, the stitching just looks pretty bad on there. So anyhow, um, you know, it's gonna be on the side, so you know they won't be next to each other except for this band of color and this band of color. But anyhow, uh, when I first got it, I was like, man, I wonder if I could take that patch off. Um, so anyhow, uh, that that that's kind of my review of it for 66 bucks. Like you can't go wrong. I don't. I'm not crazy about the design of the patch. I'm not crazy about the quality of the patch, and then not crazy about kind of the stitching around the patch. But um, you know, $66 is a pretty good deal on a, a jersey. So if you're looking to pick up one of their home jerseys, I would encourage you to, to do that now. I've got, this is a, um, this is a, the road away. And again, just see, I mean, it's so, it's it's nice and light. They have a good fit. So for me, I, I wear a 42 coat size and this is a, a large fit for me and it's a good fit. Um, again, Nike jersey on the, Nike swoosh on the front. So they also have this, official you know engineered type thing at the bottom so anyhow uh yeah let me show the back to both of these uh no no players no god forbid freddie freeman goes to another team uh but if he does no no freddie freeman logo on the back whatever no name and number kind of like the plane and then you've got the mlb logo patch on the back so anyhow hope that helps if someone's looking at um purchasing one of these i uh, hope it's helpful